So ready? Mm -hmm. Got it. You felt that one, I'm sure. All right, so um, James is a retired professional dancer with the Paul Taylor Dance Company. How many years were you with them? 17 years. 17 years, okay. So what do you want to look at today? I'd like to look at my left shoulder primarily. I, I feel like it's clicking, it's a little bit out of place, mm -hmm. and then it's kind of going up my neck. Um, not too bad today, but I, I feel like there's a little pinch mm -hmm. sometimes in there. Is there any range of motion, like if you pick up that arm, that you feel it, or that it's restricted no. or tender? Not, not really. Yeah. And is the pain more in the front coming yeah. like the pec minor? It's... Like, can you like dig your finger into where you notice it? I think it is more in the front. It's like right, yeah, it's like right. It's kind of there. Okay, so there's stuff to look at here. Muscle, there's, there's the pec minor muscle. There's also the distal clavicle. The humerus comes in here. We got the AC joint, so we're gonna look at all of it. Um, and we'll detail that left shoulder. Um, and the neck, does the neck hurt turning one way or the other so you can turn a little bit? It's a little more restricted turning to the right. All right, and lower back today, is that okay? Yeah, let's do lower bit. back, yeah. Oh, do the lower back. Yeah. And how are the knees? Knees are good. Okay, Yeah. so let's get you on the table and get started. Put your nose right in there. And um, good, you're in a good spot on the table, arms back on each side. So left shoulder, some lower back, knees are fine. We got that front part of the shoulder. We're gonna put these little alignment shoes on you so I can kind of see. I do a lot with alignment and it just kind of gives me a reference point of how we're doing and seeing if the body is chilling out after we work on it. So here, come close, you'll see um, that the right leg's pulling a little short. And then as we bring the legs up, they even out. So. Um, do you get any tension when I pull these all the way up? Yes, I do. Point to the spot that you feel tense. Like right there. I had right. a small back spasm the other day. Okay, so a little bit there. And the leg even goes shorter when I bring it all the way up. So the knees look okay. I just like to check on them. I'm going to push into here. That's not making a difference. So I'm going to come to the other side. Sometimes it's the, um, the opposite side is going to give us the bigger correction, which it would. So I'm going to um, first adjust just to the left of the second, second sacral tubercle, which are the remnants of the, of the spinal knobs, the spinous processes that are left on our sacrum. But I'm going to come just to the left of it and adjust kind of right there. And then I'm going to come to the top of the iliac crest, which is like our hip crest. And I'm going to come Look for the spine of ischium and adjust straight P to A or straight down. And he could feel that's a tender spot. And I have it on the highest setting, so it gives a little bit of a thump. And it's not perfect, but it's pretty close now. I would say it's about 98% aligned. And then I bring it to this position. And you'll probably still feel it in the lower back. Yeah, I do. So point to that spot one more time so I can see it. Good. There's a few things we have to do. See, that made the leg go short again. So he has a superior sacrum. So the next thing I'm gonna get right on the center, right by the tubercle and adjust through it. It's not bad, it doesn't hurt. And then put this wrist on the lower back. And that's checking L5, L5 is also out. So he's got, he's got some stuff here. So even though it's not his chief complaint, the chief complaint was the left shoulder, we do have some work to do here. And you know, he spent 17 years in one of the most demanding uh, dance companies traveling around the world. So he had travel, he had concert rehearsals. Um, it's a small company, so you dance a lot in pain when you're a small company. If you have a dance company with 85 people, it's very easy to have an understudy go on, but the smaller companies, uh, that doesn't always happen, right? You need to, <laughs> need to get out there and work. Yeah. So you have to really decide do I have pain or injury. An injury is like, I cannot go on. And pain means like everything hurts, but I'll dance anyway. And um, exactly. if you've ever seen that company, they do everything. They leap, they, they just fly. Uh, right wrist on the lower back. It, uh, it's beautiful choreography, but it's also dynamic athletic choreography. And uh, now switch arms, please. And I'm talking about the Paul Taylor Dance Company. And now both arms on the lower back. Okay, so now the legs are even. And when I bring it up, they stay even. But I still haven't got to that spot that hurts on him. 
So now I'm going to do that next. So I'm going to find it, and I'm just going to drag this up because I want to see if the spinuses are, are going up or coming back. When I drag it up, it gets worse. The legs go short. Do you see that? And now when I drag it down, the legs balance. So that's what I want to do. I want to get on the tender one, and I want to adjust the spinous straight down to kind of tilt the vertebra. And do you feel this one worse, or do you feel that one worse? You feel that one? That one. Right that one, yeah. Okay. So I'm going to get right on between the two spinuses. That's where I was. Yeah. Okay. Let's see if that helps. It's kind of a micro adjustment, but sometimes it makes a difference. Do you feel any difference now? Actually, it's a lot better. A lot better. Okay, cool. Good. Um, so now take both arms to the top of the table. I heard that grunt. Did it hurt the shoulder doing that, or is it uh, no, just, I'm just grunting. grunting? Okay. Um, random grunting is fine. It's acceptable. Bring your arms back down to the side of your body. Turn your face to the right now. Any tension turning your head to the right? No. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to adjust T6 because it just showed up. And we're adjusting T6. And I'm going to just jump ahead because I have a pretty easy time finding some of these spots. You feel these too, right? Mm -hmm. They're tender, right? Yeah, it's really good. Though. Good. That one hurts, right? It's tender, yeah. yeah. Uh, head back to center. Mm. Turn your face that way again. What do you still feel when you make the neck turn? Like, where do you feel like it's pulling? Now it's kind of <coughs> Yeah, it's right at C2. So back to center. Try it again. Yeah, it's better. Is it better? Mm -hmm. Okay, turn this way. Where do you feel when you go that way? I don't really feel it. Okay, head back to center. Let me trade out your paper, so sit up. Yeah, I'm so it's humid today. It's humid. It's my office. It's not you. Go back to center. What happens in these old New York City buildings is they just run the heat all year round sometimes until finally the summer and then they turn it off, but you're still using it. So now turn your face to the right and pull your left elbow into the side of the body and hold it. Mm -hmm. And what I'm doing is I'm activating that scap. Then let this relax and keep your head there for a minute. Wait for me. And that really pulled the leg short. So he's got a, like a lot of the, the, the whole kinetic chain of the left shoulder is off. Um, so in his case, uh, head back to center, his scapula went lateral. So I'm going to adjust in medial, but it's, a, it's several adjustments to correct this. The first one we do is the scapula back to medial. So lateral to medial, and then I'm going to adjust into the humerus. I'm going to adjust the ulna. And I'm going to adjust the posterior carpals in two places. I don't know if you could see that. But the whole kinetic chain gets stressed out when the scapula is out. So now bring your elbow into the side of the body and give it a squeeze. Relax it now. And um, good. So now put this palm down. And think about it, when you put your palm down, you're externally rotating your shoulder mm -hmm. your, or your humerus, your upper arm bone. And that actually was a stress for the body. So we're gonna do that one next. And um, so I'm gonna go through and detail that left shoulder. So I'm, now I'm doing a trigger point on the top, hitting the bone on the top of the humerus to help uh, rotation. Put that palm down so we're rechecking what we just did. And that stayed even. Just for the heck of it, we'll turn it the other way. So we're gonna um, we're gonna internally rotate the uh, shoulder, and that's fine. So now we're gonna relax the hand and bring this as high as you can, and then put it back down. So that's checking for our anterior humerus, and that's fine. Now we're gonna bring the arm off the side of the table and reach for the floor, and then relax. And when we do that, we're pushing the uh, the humerus posterior. And he actually has a posterior misalignment of the humerus. So I have to find it. He's got a lot of muscle back here, but I dig through and I find the bone and I adjust straight down, posterior to anterior on the humerus. Here, reach for the floor again, which drives that humerus back. 
and it stresses it or it lets me see if it can handle the stress and holds this adjustment and it is. So now I'm gonna have you hold your arm out to the side like this, palm up, and that checks for the second rib and um, he's good there. So take this palm and put it on the back of your neck. So we're going through all sorts of things for the, uh, the left side. That one activated the, the leg length and made it go short. So that is related to superior scapula. So I get on the spine of the scapula, the ridge, and I adjust straight down from superior to inferior. Put your hand back here again. It's clear. Lift your left elbow off the table and put it back down and drive your elbow into the table, which checks for the sternoclavicular joint. And that's out. So let me see if I can find it from here. If not, I have to flip you over. Do you feel that's tender under there a little bit? Yeah. So put your hand here again and drive your elbow into the table and then relax and let yourself wait there for me for a second. That's good. Let me just feel the distal clavicle, which is the outer edge of the clavicle here like this. And I'm pulling it and trying to stress it out if I can. The reason I'm doing that is it'll upset the leg length. And when you have a balance, no matter which way you push it, it stays. So now I'm gonna have you put your thumb back here like this. So grab your own hip and push across which stresses the AC joint up front, the acromion clavicular joint. And I want to see if he has any old separation. He might have a little tiny spreading of that. So it's not like a real dislocation, but it's... And you feel that tender spot right there? Oh yeah. Now turn on your back. I'm gonna take these fun shoes off of you. Oh, man. Line your back. <laughs> yeah, you can use that. It's really, it's my office, it's not you. But I guess warm is better than cold when it comes to muscles, right? Oh, definitely. But so now we we'll go to the left side one more time. I'm going to just get a little bit more in the SC joint. And remember, he had that pec minor. You feel that's a horrible spot right there. Horrible. Mm. So bring that arm up above your head like this and bring it down again. Oh God. That's it, right? Oh, it's so tight. Okay, now bring it up again. Uh, Good, and bring it down again. Mm. And bring it up again. Oh my gosh. And bring it down again. Good. Uh, that kills, right? Oh, it's a good kill. <laughs> okay. uh, there you go, good. So now I'm gonna adjust, I'm gonna take this paper away, so lean up a little bit. And I'm going to adjust and come to the top of the table. So instead of adjusting just the neck and the good old sweet spot for a lot of people, I'm going to come in low and try to get your second rib. I'm going to go really low at the base of the neck because that's a lot of the nerve supply that comes out there is what's going down into the shoulder. So have to contact much lower right in here rather than up higher where chiropractors work a lot more in here probably more often than down here. What's tough is I have to go through the trap. And this guy's got really strong, you know, body there. So ready? Mm -hmm. Got it. You felt that one, I'm sure. Felt that. Good. So I'm gonna do on both sides because I just want to open this stuff up. You know, all the stuff going down the arms. Mm. Perfect, right? Mm. Good. So now I move closer to me. I'm gonna just do a big old one in the middle for you. Just to mobilize this. Good. Okay. Now come stand and see how you feel. And let's see you. Uh, here you can stand over here. Stand back here and then move your arms around a little bit. See how they feel. Uh, kind of do like a movement or a quarter bra on the left. See how that feels. <laughs> My body's still adjusting. Is it crackling and moving while you move? It feels good. I feel like I can settle my shoulders back on my spine more instead of being, I feel like they're being pulled forward before. Yeah, um, yeah I definitely feel more aligned. Okay. Yeah, like Do we they're, miss they're settling really what, well. Lower back or how are we on other things? Um, I think you got the lower back yeah. pretty well, right? I did. Yeah. I got it. So I think we're pretty set. All right, cool, man. Um, yeah, I was really looking forward to that, so thank you. <laughs> I needed that. It was like good time. All right, good stuff.